Well, it's critical. Uh, you cannot afford a breach. You have a security perimeter that is continually evolving, and you do need to have a model that addresses how to uh, to secure that perimeter on a continuous basis. Mm -hmm. It's no longer uh, that time period where you have long uh, dependencies on trying to ensure that you're you're secure and that's a that's at every layer you do need to do the data but you also need applications that have all the right certifications and components at every level to make sure that each person has access only to what they have uh, right. access to and so we've we've grown up in the federal government that's where we started we're on the Cipernet and we're on DIS's cloud uh, providing mobile capabilities today. <clears throat> right. Um, and so it's impendent on us to ensure that we have a continuous cycle from an industry perspective to be in front of it for the federal government. Right. Proactive. Um, sort. And, but let's also push forward, mm -hmm. have a risk based assessment. There's a lot of work being done today from a mission perspective that is not classified information right. that can get out there and in the hands and take some lessons learned and apply those to how you are addressing that security perimeter right. that's right. ever moving. Right.